So I'm documenting my uh, BMS installation now and, and the wiring I did. So I'm just going to cover a quick uh, couple of topics in advance of this video. So first of all, I've done a lot of other videos. There's an article on Marine How To on the links to the to the um, video that I think you should probably read if you haven't read it before because installing lithium on boats is a little different than putting them in an RV, I think. Uh, are, are our BMSs necessary on boats? I'd say abso absolutely yes. I prefer smart BMSs where you can change the parameters and perhaps make them more conservative than they otherwise would be. Uh, sometimes BMSs provide features like um, amps and volts and monitoring your battery pack which you have to do anyway so better to get a BMS that actually gives you that information on your boat so you can troubleshoot I think in boats it makes a lot of sense to do a hybrid approach where you've got lead acid batteries and then you've got um, lithium batteries uh, and so I'm going to show you a, a little bit about a problem that I had that had to do with the charge bus and I was reading inaccurate voltages, so you'll be able to see my wiring setup. Um, the other thing is um, using a battery-to-battery -battery charger, a Sterling battery-to-battery uh, uh, -battery charger to isolate the sealed lead acid batteries from the um, flooded batteries from the um, lithium ion uh, batteries. So enjoy this video look at my other videos and please check out the link to marine how to before you start a project like this because it's it's going to be way helpful and there's a lot of stuff on the internet making things seem very simple but when you get into it they're not that simple the top is dual walled uh, polycarbonate and so what i'm doing is i'm just putting the tie wraps around the straps and then what I've also done is drilled probe holes so I can um, easily um, put, I can easily put one of these probes down onto the into the contact without bringing without um, you know lifting up the cover so hopefully I won't have to do any of that and then the, um, I've got MRBF fuses on the integrated onto the battery so now I'm trying to get uh, everything together to go down the boat. Um, this is pretty much the way it's going to be on the boat. I'm using this thing as a just a battery carrier. I think I'm just going to strap, I'm not going to be putting this in place I don't think on the boat. And then you can see that um, I have my BMS um, with the external USB, the external um, you know, temperature monitor and um, everything is self-contained in the box the only thing i have to do is feed in a ground bus wiring so how do we go about um putting these posts in <laughs> okay so it's pretty easy you just put the board you just unscrew the top and you put the you lay the board the holes the holes in the board on top of this um nice little post and then you screw the nut on the top and that's what I've done there uh, and you can kind of see the um, you know the this this part underneath there and so it's a really elegant way to get as big as post as you want and um, also have standoff capability so you could have three legs here I've mounted this one this one has, uh, you know, th this one and this one are the same size. This one over here is a shorty. Um, I don't think you can see it, but I've got a short, a shorter version, but it is, it is pretty solid. I mean, I'm, I'm pushing pretty hard on it. And again, I using Lexan for the, um, this, um, this this Lexon dual walled Lexan for the for the mounting base and it's really easy to cut so um, good luck with your project. So what we're going to need to do is connect the negative from the Sterling battery charger directly to the negative on the C minus port and then what we do is we come off of the C minus and we go to our um, our our regular grounding bus 
um, that where we ground the uh, or sorry negative bus that we that we're going to use that we we have for our uh, fixed lead acids. So that's how we join um, we we join the two battery banks together. But first connect the charge negative to this post, and then the the voltage sense will be correct. So here's a shot of my uh, final, I hope, configuration of my smart BMS. It's an 80 amp uh, BMS I got from AliExpress that you'll see. Um, so as far as the anatomy of these things, uh, we have the C minus right here. We have the P minus, okay, and then we have the B minus. Okay, the B minus is the battery lead that is right here. That's that's where the B minus goes. So the P minus, uh, which is this lead here, um, you can combine the P minus and the C minus, and I've stacked them here on the C minus area, and that has worked. I don't know about the other configuration. I decided to separate these two just to give me more ground possible ground connection um, because I did have issues where instead of terminating this charger uh, the charger the battery to battery charger connection that comes direct from the charger right here instead of terminating it here so it has very little resistance between here and here I decided and I thought that if I just stack stack it onto a, a, a lead where this bus is just a few feet away, I thought I'd be okay. Um, I, for instance, I just went over here and stacked it on, on this bus bar right here and it didn't work. So <laughs> it's it started working and all my voltages were fine. Once I stacked it here, so that's you know one of the problems that I encountered. Now I have on the on the box, of course, I have three inputs. Now I have the uh, my load input that or the the load uh, negative, which generally uh, is going to mate up to my uh, sealed lead acid uh, negative uh, bus bar and the negative bus bar for all the loads on the boat. This special charger um, wire that I'm I'm uh, running and then of course the battery negative and these all are signal wires here um, one additional signal wire that you may be interested in running is this one right here it's sitting on uh, the P minus lead, and and what I'm going to do is use this for input to um, a you know some sort of um, either the smart battery battery protect relay or some other sensor. So I'll know whether the BMS has tripped. Um, so that that is something I kind of have in the future. Again, uh, this is the matrix of, of all those cables that you saw in the battery, and this is the communication wire. And um, this is the mezzanine that I set up to go on top of this so I can uh, just seal, put the lid on it. All right, I'm hoping that that is going to be the last time I'm going to have to <laughs> open this box up. Thank you for watching.